Hi, this is Sudhakar Sharma. In this video session, we are going to discuss about how to create an MVC core application. So, we are going to learn how to create an ASP.NET MVC core application and uh, we will walk through the environment of MVC core application. What is ASP.NET MVC core and what are the various features of MVC core we discussed in early sessions. In this session, we are practically going to demonstrate and see how to create an MVC application and what is the infrastructure of an MVC core application. For that, we are using the editor Visual Studio 219 and uh, in this Visual Studio 219, you need to set up environment to work with core. I will show you the process how we can get through this. Yep. So, you have to visit this URL visualstudio.microsoft.com in that you will get downloads and in downloads you have Visual Studio 219. You can uh, download this Visual Studio 219 community edition. So, this community edition is an open source and this is enough for our practice sessions to work with uh, the complete and uh, development environment. So, you have to download this community edition from Visual Studio 219. Once you download Visual Studio 219 community edition and install for your machine, actually this download is available for all type of operating system services. You can choose your own operating system service. So, when you choose this download of Visual Studio 219, so you can uh, use it across any type of operating system services, right. So, already I have installed and have this Visual Studio 219 in my machine. So, you can get it from this location, right. So, once you downloaded Visual Studio 219, now you have to download the .NET Core for Visual Studio 2.19 because Visual Studio 2.19 inbuilt comes with .NET Core earlier versions. We are going to practice everything and we are going to learn every concept on .NET Core 2.2. So, however, the latest releases of .NET Core various versions are coming. We will see working with the .NET Core 2.2 version. So, how do we get this .NET Core 2.2? What you have to do is you have to again download .NET Core 2.2 download, yeah. So, you have to download this .NET Core 2.2 and install for Visual Studio. You can see this is .NET Core and there are various releases. The current release is 2.26 and uh, the version that you, you need to download for our entire practice session is uh, this 2.2. So, you have to download this uh, .NET Core 2.2 and uh, you have to install this .NET Core 2.2 for your machine. It depends on uh, what kind of bit size your machine is having. You have to download .NET Core 2.2. So, so, once you download Visual Studio 2.19, once you download Visual Studio 219 and the .NET Core 2.2, now let's see how to create a .NET Core MVC application. So, first open your Visual Studio 219 and here you have to select a new project. You can see to create a new project, you have so many project templates. You can see recently used templates in the left and uh, the all available templates in the right. From these templates, you have to select the template for creating a ASP.NET Core application. So, and for that you need to choose ASP.NET Core application, ASP.NET Core Web application. You need to select this ASP.NET Core Web application. So, in the templates, we are selecting the template ASP.NET Core Web application. And next step, any name. 
I will give the name as demo core and uh, any location where you want to save this and just click on create. This will prompt you to select uh, any project template that you want. You have a lot of project templates available. We have an MT, we have an API, we have web application and a web application with MVC, Razor class libraries. So out of this first step select the .NET Core framework and uh, ASP.NET Core 2.2 and uh, web application with MVC, model view controller. So it is a project template for creating our ASP.NET MVC application. And uh, right side, you can see authentications. We will discuss how to handle them at later level. Now in the advanced categories, do you want to configure your application for HTTPS so that it runs on a secured protocol or you can ignore this, then it will run on uh, HTTP protocol. So I am initially removing this and we are configuring this for HTTP and not HTTPS. In initially we do not need any Docker support here. Later we will see what is Docker and how to handle. So in the project templates what we are selecting the library .NET Core and the version 2.2 and the project template web application MVC and uh, not configuring on HTTPS and just like click on create. So this is an uh, MVC core ASP.NET application. Let's see the infrastructure of this application. So let's go to the solution explorer and you can see here in the solution what are the files and folders available, what is the basic infrastructure of MVC core application. So let's see uh, at the top you can observe we have connected services. Connected services are nothing but it contains the configuration for external services like a WCF service or Azure web services which you can integrate with your MVC core application. Currently there are no external services connected or configured for our application. It is empty and you can see dependencies. Dependencies are nothing but these are the references. Earlier we should have these references in the Microsoft library and NuGet library is available with references. Now they are categorized into dependencies. It is nothing but it contains the collection of packages that are required for our application. You can add packages, remove packages, update packages from this dependencies. Now you can observe that these dependencies are uh, well categorized. We have the dependencies coming from NuGet separately defined in NuGet and a standard Microsoft coming into SDK. So NuGet has its uh, library and uh, SDK this is the standard library. So the packages and the dependencies that we are going to use for our application are uh, defined in these dependencies. Of course assembly info is present in our properties and uh, WW root is a resource locator. Uh, you see it is a resource location actually. So this resource location is nothing but it contains all dynamic and non-dynamic files that are required for your application. When you are building an ASP.NET Core application, the resources are defined in this WW root. Resources include CSS, JavaScript and other types of libraries. You can see in this WW root we have CSS, we have JavaScript and we have other libraries. So it contains all dynamic and non-dynamic files which are configured in a resource location. Actually the physical path for this is C inet pub WW root. This is the resource location for your files. So whatever the files that you want for your MVC project, you can keep this in WW root which includes images, CSS and JavaScript files. And you can see controllers, of course it contains all controller classes which define application specific logic and models model contains the model classes which define the data specific logic and views views contains the application user interface UI. However, we are going to learn detailly about every point. We are taking an overview of all these folders and file system. App settings.json is an application configuration file. Earlier versions we have a web config file where we need to define application settings, session settings and all types of connection strings. 
Now all these are defined in app settings.json. We are not having a web config here. So instead of web config, all configuration is defined in app settings.json. How do we configure? We will see that. You can see this app settings.json. It contains a JSON syntax where all the configurations are defined. So how to configure? We will see in our next levels. And uh, we have a program CS. Program CS contains all the information about logging, configuration, and hosting the application. Actually, Program CS comprises of a main which configures the startup, which is responsible for building and running your application. It is also required for configuring application for various types of environment, like it can be for development, production, or uh, quality. And uh, we have startup CS. This startup CS comprises of all the middleware configurations. That means you need a middleware configuration for handling communication in network based application. All this middleware configuration is defined in this startup CS, like enabling services, web form services, MVC services, API services, configuring the connection string middlewares, using the connect connection string middlewares, all session related, cookie related, the middleware configurations, including routing, all such options are defined in this startup CS. We are going to learn how to use this middleware settings and configure them. So finally, in the MVC project environment, so we have uh, dependencies, properties, W root, and uh, controllers, models, views, app setting JSON, program CS, and a startup CS file. We are going to work with them step by step, and we will see how this process works. So in the next session, we are going to learn how to start up with MVC application. Thank you.